Enforcement Directorate has told the Delhi High Court that the Aam Aadmi Party could be made liable when it comes to the Liquorgate scandal and could be made a party to the entire investigation. Now, there are a few repercussions that have come to light when it comes to this development from the Enforcement Directorate. Now, the assets of the Aam Aadmi Party could be attached in this case. The office bearers of the Aam Aadmi Party could be made liable when it comes to the entire Liquorgate scandal. Also, what we are learning is that this can be used to seek de-recognition under the representation of People's Act. So these are the ramifications, the legal ramifications in the wake of this major development coming in from the Enforcement Directorate investigation into the Liquorgate scandal. To get more details and to decode these ramifications, I'm joined by my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar on the broadcast. Ananya, over to you. Ananya, can you hear me? We'll try to connect with Ananya over there. I think we've lost that line. But these are the ramifications when it comes to this major development in the Liquorgate scandal, ladies and gentlemen, after the Enforcement Directorate has told the Delhi High Court that the Aam Aadmi Party could be made, will be made party to the entire case at the end of the day. And it will be liable when it comes to uh, the entire scandal surrounding the Liquorgate case. And I'm joined by my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar, who's back with us on the broadcast. So Ananya, the repercussions of this latest development coming in where the office bearers of the Aam Aadmi Party could become liable. Also, the Aam Aadmi Party's assets could be attached in this case. And at the same time, now this is the more crucial one, this can be used to de-recognize the party under the representation of People's Act. These are serious ramifications of this major development coming in in the Liquorgate case. Well, yes, these are definitely, you know, serious repercussions that could come up if at all the Amadi party is made and accused as the enforcement record pointed out before the High Court today. Uh, but we have to understand, you know, this is a concept of corporate wheel. Uh, whenever, you know, any kind of a company uh, uh, comes under the scanner of the agencies or they are charge sheeted, these are the ramifications that uh, that come up because, uh, you know, the office bearers of that particular company uh, become liable uh, under the law and not only they, uh, also, in fact, their assets uh, could be attached uh, uh, under the PMLA is what uh, the ram major ramifications were. But since the Amadmi Party is, a, is not a company and a political party itself, which is considered as a company under Section 70 of the PMLA, uh, you know, the Amadmi Party could face, in fact, a RP Act case also against them because... Uh, the opposition can use this particular, uh, if at all the Amadi party is made an accusation, their assets are attached. It could be made a, a ground to actually go before the Election Commission of India and seek a de-recognition of the Amadi party. These are the legal ramifications of it that could actually happen, though it may or may not happen. But at this particular point of time, you know, this is the law. Um, this is what the law says. Uh, and very clearly and categorically, this submission before the High Court is nothing new, uh, but uh, uh, is a reiteration of what was told to the Supreme Court. Because remember that all of it, Ayashman, stems from that Supreme Court hearing in Manish Sodia's bail itself, uh, wherein, you know, the, Ahmad, uh, the, the Supreme Court had questioned, in fact, it was a bench headed by Justice Sanjeev Khanna, which had questioned uh, additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju at that particular point of time that, you know, uh, the Ahmadmi party is some, uh, somebody who, uh, why is it not being made an accused even after being, uh, even after being an uh, alleged to be a major beneficiary of this particular scam? Right. Uh, the enforcement director at first said that, you know, it would not, uh, it would be considering that particular option, but at this particular point of time, this strong and crucial submissions come before the Delhi High Court. Absolutely. Thank you, Ananya, for getting us that piece of breaking news. So another jolt to the Aam Aadmi Party amid the election heat, ladies and gentlemen. We will continue to track all the developments coming in for now.